Hello and welcome back to A Level Biology Help. Today I will be taking you through the Using Genome Project section for AQA A Level Biology. As always in every video there will be timestamps in the comments section so that you can skip to the different sections of the video if you do not wish to watch the whole thing. Right, so let's get started. Wrong button. So firstly I'm going to just recap on what a genome is. A genome is the full set of genes in each cell and every single one of your cells contains a complete genome. The genome can be sequenced. This means that the base sequence of the genome can be figured out. There are many sequencing projects that have sought out to find out the sequence of genomes in various organisms. So sequencing projects read the genomes of a variety of organisms. Determining the genome of simple organisms, so bacteria for example, allows the sequence of the proteins that are encoded. This is because in simple organisms such as bacteria, introns aren't included in their DNA, so they can directly figure out the amino acid sequence and therefore the protein produced from the genome itself. Sequencing projects have many beneficial applications. One example is the identification of poten potential antigens to use in vaccines. As if you know the genome of a particular virus or bacteria, you can then identify what kind of antigen will be complementary to the pathogen and therefore you can use that to um, develop vaccines. In more complex organisms, so humans for example, the presence of introns or non-coding DNA means that knowledge of the genome can't be translated into the proteome. The proteome being the full range of proteins that can be encoded by the genome. So from complex organisms that contain introns, the um, properties of the proteome can't be directly read from the genome as introns are present, which don't code for amino acids. So sequencing projects allow other things. They allow something called genome-wide comparison between different species and within species as well, which allows the determination of evolutionary relationships so we can find out about our common ancestors. Also, genome sequencing projects are beneficial to medical research as genome compars comparisons between individuals can allow the development of person personalised medications. So medications can be personalised to a particular genome, which will be more effective. So the Human Genome Project is the main um, genome project that you may want to know about. So the Human, Gen human Genome Project sorry, has determined the sequence of bases in the human genome. So the genetic constitution of humans. This has many applications. For example, the screening of abnormal or mutated sequences, which allows the identification of disorders before symptoms arise. This is particularly useful in neurodegenerative diseases such as Huntington's disease, as symptoms may not arise until the late 30s. So therefore, personalised treatments can be given before symptoms arise, giving you the best chance of a cure. Also, pre-implantation screening, which is similar to screening for abnormal or mutated sequences. As, for example, if you find out, found out that an embryo contained an abnormal allele, which meant that the baby was going to be born with a life-threatening disease, you could choose not to have that embryo implanted. But obviously, there are ethical concerns into this, because... Um, well, religious people don't want you to, what's called, play God and create designer babies. And also, misuse and discrimination of genetic information or data is possible, because people may not want to give their genetic data to the public, as it invades privacy. So there are many sequencing methods available today, and they are advancing fast. You do not need to know the principles of each. However, 
As I've said, sequencing methods are constantly developing and becoming faster and more efficient to use. And they have become more computer-based instead of lab-based, so computers work more quickly to identify potential errors in genomes, so therefore allowing the earlier creation of personalised medicines. In the Human Genome Project, the human genome took 15 years to sequence, so a very, very long time. But nowadays it can take as little as 26 hours, so it's much, much more quicker. So that is how genome projects are used. So that is it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. There aren't any exam questions today, as the um, exam questions relating to this topic cross over a bit too much with recombinant DNA technology, which I'll talk about in the next video. So thank you very much for watching. Please leave a comment if you have any questions and I'll see you in my next video.